Uh, when you're looking at this first set, okay, it tells you that this arc is 251. And you want to find what x is. Well, in order to find x, now you're dealing with an angle whose vertex lies outside of a circle. That angle is going to equal one half the difference of the intercepted arcs. Well, we know the the arcs that are intercepted are contained in the interior of this angle. Is this this arc that was shaded in the 251? So we're going to subtract the other in arc that lies in the interior of the angle. Well, it's the entire other portion of this arc. And the whole other portion of that circle's arc lies inside the angle. And so if we just take the difference of 360 minus this known measure, 251, we get our arc measure of 109. And so that's the second part that you will use in your calculation. Okay, and so just take half of that difference, and that'll be your measure of x. On problem B, again, a real similar setup. Here, though, when it's cut off, you're told that this is a 90 degree angle. And you want to find this measure x. And then the only other thing that they tell you is this whole arc measure here is given as 3x. So when you look at this, your relationship still holds true. This known angle of 90 has to equal one half the difference of the intercepted arcs. Well, the intercepted arcs are the out, outer one. The further one is 3x. And since this inner <coughs> central angle is x, that means that its corresponding arc measure will also be x. So we're going to take the difference of 3x and x, divide by 2, multiply by 90, and so when you look at this, if you multiply both sides by 2 to get rid of your half, you get 180 is equal to 3x minus x, which is 2x, divide by 2. And you get your solution for x. It's 90 degrees. Now, that should make sense because let's say we were just looking at this circle. And we, so we know this circle is a ratio of 3x to x, right? So a 3x to x, if we look at the part-to-part -part ratio, is 3 to 1. But if we look at the part-to-whole ratio, this outer portion, this larger portion, is 3 parts out of how many total parts are there when we add up the, the parts here? 3 plus 1 gives you 4. So this is 3 fourths of the whole thing, which means x is 1 out of 1 part out of the whole or, so that means that this remaining portion and this central angle here are going to be one-fourth of the whole thing. One-fourth of 360 is 90. So you could look at it as ratios as well.